let's talk Jerry Jones. Jerry doesn't drive. Like he's not, he's not like I've personally, I think maybe one time in 20 years have I seen Jerry behind the wheel of a car. Um, so I'm pretty sure that this was, you know, Jerry as a passenger being, being driven around Dallas. Um, interestingly enough though, little fender bender, uh, on Wednesday night, Jerry, um, the authorities asked him to go to Parkland, uh, hospital to get checked out. But, uh, Stephen Jones confirmed this morning and I'd heard late Wednesday night, um, uh, from inside the franchise that Jerry is okay. Um, no, no serious injuries apparently from this, uh, car accident, but interestingly enough, it comes after <laughs> Jerry, Jerry for the fourth time, fourth time since 2010, found a way to leak <laughs> the Cowboys, the Cowboys draft board. And I wrote a story about this, which I thought, uh, it's interesting that when you watch the footage, Jerry Jones sitting up, uh, with, with Steven Jones's son, Will McClay, the vice president of player personnel, Mike McCarthy, the head coach holds up the draft board on day one after day one. And, and basically, in a way, kind of dares reporters to figure it out and decode it. And God bless Dallas Cowboys fans, fan sites, uh, affiliated sites, reporters. They figured out a way to decode the top 34 ranked players on the Dallas board. And you never see this with, like, if you see one team with a leak in two decades, it's, it's newsworthy. This is four now since 2010 and and Jerry has seemingly been in in some way or fashion involved in all of them it's you gotta love the Cowboys man yeah this is why we want Jerry safe from the accident what the (laughs) hell would we talk about in this league if we didn't have Jerry Jones okay so let's just all you know say thank you that Jerry is well and good um yeah leaking the draft board (laughs) yes it's just perfect um (laughs) Uh, the slew thing was great. There's actually pretty interesting to look at this board. I don't know how closely you looked at it, but it's kind of, there's some fascinating stuff on there, including the yeah. Cowboys pick. Um, and then I, I'm not sure if this is like evidence for everybody else on what not to do. Like, it's like, oh, oh, crap. I had, I had this guy high also. So didn't Jerry. We better, uh, better reevaluate how we're doing things. But um, of course he did course he did he's just he's just phenomenal in this way that uh he would he would do this for the fourth time in 10 years uh and then uh we would crowdsource the whole thing uh you want to go through this board well the board the board yeah we can go through the board i think though first off we have to say when i saw the photo okay so mike leslie who's a an anchor in in uh dallas right for an, a, a dallas television affiliate um he was the one who pulled off video. He pulled this this photo down, right, of, yep. of the board. Now, when I looked at it, I'm like, shit, you can't see. Like, it's this is, this is the worst of all of them. Like, every other one, you know, the, there was two that were, it was like Jerry taking, there was photos of Jerry standing in front of the draft board. High res, you know, you could see in some, fa- I mean, not the highest res, but you could see enough that I could figure out how people would pull names. The third one was, Someone in business operations takes a picture of the draft board when they're moving out of Valley Ranch, puts it up on online, takes it back down. Um, but that, but it was, you know, much clearer than this one. This one, I was just like, this is the worst. This is the worst of all. Like, no one's going to be able to get anything off. The- no, I was completely wrong. And what was great was when you started to sort of see how this was being crowdsourced and the methods that were being used by like measuring how long the name was. Right. So, you know, one person says, hey, in the in the area that lists the college, there's two. It, the the one that has two words in it is clearly Notre Dame, so that's that's obviously uh, the safety from Notre Dame. Like it was just interesting to kind of see how people unraveled it, um, and and then when I like back checked it, I'm like, God, this is right. Like this board is actually accurate. And when I started to go through it, I'm like, Wow, they have four of their top 28 players are taken by the Jets. So this is a pretty, it's like the, the Cowboys clearly like the Jets draft. Their two top prospects, Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal, go to the New York Giants, which obviously is a division rival. It was just, it was, it was fascinating to see how they were valuing certain players. No quarterback in there, which 
I know some people say, well, you know, look, they don't need a quarterback. That doesn't matter. Their grading system's their grading system. And it was pretty apparent. Uh, no question they didn't have a first or maybe even a second round grade on a quarterback in this draft, which I don't know what that says about Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers. But um, yeah, I mean, if you, let's go through it real quick. You might as well. I mean, hell, they show us our they show us their board, which Harry, but by the way, I encourage people go and look at the clip of this because Jerry holds it up like to basically he's he's basically explaining the first round pick sort of defending it and he holds it up and you see Stephen Jones and his son and 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 Will McClay who's the VP of player person are looking at each other like oh my god like what like they're laughing but you can tell they're like oh my god what is he doing meanwhile Mike McCarthy's sitting next to him who for the longest time in Green Bay like Ted Thompson wouldn't let like most of the coaching staff see their draft board for decades. Okay. And now he's sitting next to an owner who's holding it up in a press conference <laughs> at the end of the first round. And he's, you can just see the look on Mike's face is like, this place is nuts. 